All right, so I'm just gonna rattle off some stuff to you and then we're gonna slow it down a little bit and get into some details. A lot of people are taking too many compounds, right? That are doing a bunch of different things. There are side effects from one compound or the other or there's some sort of conflict happening and then people don't know which compound to pull out of the mix because now there's eight of them. Now you've sort of convoluted your entire stack. You've convoluted your, your, your objective with a bunch of compounds in a very complex stack that is targeting too many different things. Side effects come about, right? Look, let's call it let's call it a let's call it a testosterone stack, right? Say you, you're trying to race test. You got all these different compounds, but at the same time you have some background social anxiety. So you're taking an additional set of call it five to seven compounds for social anxiety, right? You start taking the testosterone protocol, some sort of testosterone protocol, and then anxiety comes about. You think maybe it's the testosterone protocol, you're not really sure, but you, you've got five or seven compounds that are supposed to be targeting anxiety, that's a whole different stack. It's like, what is it? What is it causing your problem? Like, then you correlate because you're you know, now taking the, the testosterone stack that the testosterone stack or something in it is causing you to have anxiety. People jump to conclusions, maybe raising my test is causing the anxiety. Maybe maybe it's estrogen. Maybe maybe my estrogen bumped up, like some of the tea that I'm making is being aromatized to estrogen. Oh, maybe I need to, so I need to knock down my, my testosterone protocol like a little bit. Here's the thing, you don't know. You don't know because you're, you've muddied the waters entirely. I see too many folks getting into problems like, oh, you know, I'm having a sleep issue, so I'm gonna bring in Zembrin, right? In addition to that though, I already take ashwagandha, I already take glycine, three milligrams of melatonin, I'm taking 400 milligrams magnesium. Well, by the way, that's four fucking compounds right there. Then you bring Zembrin in, which essentially acts as a mild SSRI, mild SSRI, and then some sort of weird side effect happens, and then you go, oh, Zembrin isn't good for me, and then draw some conclusion like, you know, serotonin isn't the answer. Well, you don't know that. You've got a bunch of other compounds in here that may be interacting with what Zembrin is doing. Doesn't mean Zembrin's bad for you, right? In this particular situation, you're muddying the waters too much. The, the shiny, attractive new compound thing. The stuff that I take is very tried and true. Everything that I do, whether it's a testosterone protocol, perfected over the years, right, for me, or it's a nootropic stack, which again, perfected over the years, many of them perfected over the years, that I've just, I just know what I respond to. You know, and, and I'll still do experimentation to find new stacks these days, but it's, it's disproportionately stacks that I know work. And a lot of people have this tendency to shoot for the shiny object. Oh, new compound, cool new compound, heard this does this, I wanna bring that into the, into the mix. You know, I've had clients to do that without even telling me. Like, we're working on a sleep issue, and you know, I'm suggesting they bring in you know, one thing at a time on a sleep issue, let's really monitor, let me, let me understand what your feedback is and let's really analyze this to find out exactly what's causing the problem and to isolate it and not be guessing about stuff. Meanwhile, they bring in two, three things without telling me <laughs> that they think is gonna you know, help sleep. It's like, oh shit, now our response is in response to what, what I had you do and these two, three things. Don't do that. You gotta be layering in things kind of one at a time. Sure, two, three compounds at a time, but then analyze your baseline after you're taking them, you know, new compounds that you're bringing in the mix. Understand where you are. That's your new set point. Like recognize how that makes you feel so that you fully are aware that you should be journaling this stuff too, that you understand like how you feel in response to these three or four compounds. And then when you bring another compound in the mix, notate that you're doing that, you're bringing something else in, and then pay attention to how you feel. I see this time and time again with folks. You're muddying the waters because you want to try this or you want to try that or you read that this does this, and then people jump to conclusions. Oh, I'm high in serotonin, I'm low in dopamine, I'm this and that. No, you're not, you don't even know that. You don't know, you're moving way too quickly. You think you could figure that out in a day? I can't even figure that out in a fucking day sometimes. Understand what I'm saying? I need some time to fully understand what may be causing what. You know, you've gotta develop theory, sure, but then after you develop the theories, you've gotta put that into action by removing one compound, one from the mix that you suspect might be causing it. First, maybe doing some research and understanding, well, 
is that compound causing my problem and why? You know, your theories have to be really defined. You're not a biohacker if you can theorize about what's going on and then you, you can't prove it right or wrong. When you do have a theory about what you think is going wrong, you know, why your girlfriend is having a sleep problem or why your brother is, you know, having some sort of weird headache throughout the day. Okay, develop your theory and then test your theory. Test your theory and do that pretty, pretty rigorously until you can confirm or deny your theory. You don't wanna move on to some other theory unless you've confirmed or denied your current theory. Bottom line is you don't know what's, what's causing what and you need to know what's causing what. And every step that you take and every experiment that you're running, pretty much everything you're doing in the biohacking front, you've gotta be isolating things and you can only do that if you're removing one compound at a time and if you're not muddying the waters with a bunch of stuff. Hope that makes sense, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you next time. Cortex Labs is a male performance company dedicated at giving you as a guide the best performance ever, whether that's in the brain department with nootropics, our stack, the Cortex nootropic stack, teaching you how to go and buy the various nootropics that are out there, stack them intelligently so that you can have good brain performance, or it's testosterone, raising your testosterone, supercharging your testosterone, becoming a hard charging, productive individual in life. That is what Cortex Labs is about. Go to livecortex.com and get yourself some awesome product. And my friend, let's take your game to the next level.